Welcome to Bliss Boss Talks. I'm your host, Jaya Rose, a life coach, speaker, doTERRA team leader, and a mama of two free-spirited girls. And you are in the right place if you are ready to live your dreams without sacrificing your needs. I'm going to be talking to other soulful leaders who are walking the talk, and we are touching on all things, personal development, spirituality, and what it really takes to be the boss of your bliss. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome to an episode of Bliss Boss Pep Talks. I'm super excited to talk about playing small today. This is something that I see plaguing women in particular, and especially soulful, highly sensitive women who can actually feel what other people are feeling. And a really common thing that happens is we hold ourselves back because we don't wanna make other people feel a certain way. So we're gonna jam on that today. And this is a great episode to share out to social media, to tag your friends in and share with them if you think they can relate to the idea of playing small and hiding their magic. Yeah, let's go. So the first thing I want to talk about is this idea of playing small and where it really comes from. So I've identified a couple different reasons that most women are playing small. And when I boil it down to what it really is, is it's fear. It's always about fear. It's about fear of showing up too big, being too loud, being too much. And then it also could be around a fear that if you commit to something, if you say you're going to show up, maybe you're going to mess up and you're not really going to do it well. And that's a bit of perfectionism, right? This idea that if you hold yourself back from going all in, if you hold yourself back from being in your highest potential and truth, then you don't have to fail at it. And so these two things I have seen over and over again, and I'm curious for you, which is it? What do you feel is the real reason that you haven't been fully in on yourself on every level? And when you identify that, it gives you so much power because then you get to debunk it and you get to decide is this true? Is this my truth? And do I choose to believe it now? My personal story is that I was playing small uh, my, my whole life. And the core of why I was playing small is because I didn't want to be too awesome. I didn't want to be too much. And I didn't want other people to feel bad about themselves if they weren't feeling their best. And it really comes from partly uh, family dynamics and partly this idea of <clears throat> being able to feel other people's feelings. So I am highly sensitive and empathic, and I can actually feel other people's feelings. And I'll be honest with you, there has been many times that I've been with other women, been in public, been at the gym, where other women kind of judge me. And it, maybe it's for having makeup on, maybe, you know... It's for being curvy. I don't know, but I can feel their energy. And I know for me that that made me hold back. It made me feel like I needed to keep myself safe from judgment. And at the same time, I wanted to protect these other people from feeling insecure or less than. So let's dive into a few different ways you can tell if you are playing small, because a lot of times what happens is we just think we're just playing. We're like, what are we talking about, Jaya? I work so hard. I'm tired at the end of the day. I'm making enough money. Um, I'm doing way better than I ever have been. And that's awesome. This is not about shaming. This is not about deciding, oh, where am I broken and I need to fix? This is about creating a holistic relationship with your potential. Hey, so sorry to interrupt. I hope you're loving this episode and make sure to stick around for the rest of it. I just wanted to pop in and let you know that I have a beautiful free resource for you. All you need to do is head over to thejayarose.com and scroll down till you see the invitation to download the Bold Self Playbook. 
In this playbook, I walk you through the five mindset principles that will help you embody your most powerful self and magnetize your dreams. This is a game changer and you must have these five mindset practices and principles in place to really take it to the next level and truly be embodying that version of yourself you're ready to step into. So head on over to thejayarose.com and download it. Can't wait to hear what you think and keep on listening. And there is no way to measure our success or know the direction we are going unless we decide what that looks like, unless we create an intention for ourselves. And having some structure around that and some methodology and understanding of what it is we're striving for, what does it even mean to go all in in your life? What does it mean to live in your purpose, to live at your highest potential? And you may be able to say back to me, oh, Jaya, I know what it means. I teach other people what it means. And that's awesome. But today, I want you to look at it from a holistic viewpoint because my personal belief is that we don't have true prosperity without all of the things that make us prosperous. And it's not just money. And it's not just health. It's more than that. So I'm going to talk about this today, and I want you to really reflect on this. If you have a pen and paper, grab your pen and paper. If you're ready to dive in, then um, this is the episode for you, okay? So let's dive right into the four things. So I live under the impression that we are obviously more than physical, we're obviously more than spiritual. And so to only think about one thing, to me, is cray cray. I don't see the point in that. And I know for me that I have had different times in my life where I'm doing really well financially, but I was letting my health slip. I was doing amazing spiritually, so connected, so guided, feeling so in tune, but I'm letting my finances slip. And so the real definition of prosperity is well-being. It's thriving. And so to actually be thriving on every level, we need to know what these levels are. So I work under a four pillar framework and the four pillars, I call them self, health, wealth, and source. And essentially what these things are is really yourself, your body, right? So we could call it body, mind, and spirit, and also wealth because we need to include that. So where are you? inside of all these things. And this is where we start to talk about balance. You know, I don't really believe that we're going to find a perfect balance in our life because things change so much, but at least we can understand where are we putting our energy. And so if every day we need to be putting a little bit of energy into one of these buckets, then we can start to say, I feel like I'm really living at my highest potential because I'm thriving physically because my mindset is expanding, because I'm feeling tapped in into that spirit and source energy, and because I'm living my purpose and making money doing it. When we have all of these buckets full, we are in a position to be of greater impact. We are in a position to be thriving more and creating more influence in the world. So this is what I want you to really think about today. Where are you? Go one through 10. Where are you at each of these levels? Where are you honoring your body with honoring your body? One through 10. Where are you with working your mindset with expanding what is possible for you? One through 10. Where are you with tapping in, taking the time to hear the actual calling? from source energy, and really feeling aligned and feeling in flow and feeling trusting of the process. Where are you? One through 10. And then lastly, where are you with living your purpose? If you are a stay-at-home mom, if your purpose right now is to stay at home with your kids, then where are you with that? How do you feel about that? How do you feel inside of that? If you are an entrepreneur and you're inside your business, how are you inside your creativity right now? Are you feeling like you are really attracting people to you and living inside your purpose? 
one through 10. And don't judge it, you know, decide it. Decide it, don't judge it. Wherever you are is totally good, but it's also power to really, really understand where you are. Yes? This is what I wanted to share with you today in this quick episode. And just one more thing I want you to think about going back to really understanding why we hold ourselves back. It's not for the reasons we think. It's not for the excuses we make. We're too busy to exercise. We're too uh, busy to eat healthy or we don't have enough education to make money. I mean, people make so many excuses around these pillars of life that actually make us flourish and prosperous. And the truth is, is that's not the truth. The truth is not that you uh, are too busy. Never. Because some of the most successful people in the world are probably some of the busiest or most have the most responsibility. It's because there's fear. Period. There is some fear around who would I be if I was thriving on every level? Who would I be if I was making more money than my siblings? Who would I be if I showed up on stage really, really living to my highest potential? Who would I be? And where is there resistance in that? And what is that fear? And the closer you can get to that and name it, the more likely you are to befriend it and then allow it to go and choose again and say, what is my truth? What is my truth that is separate from the patterns and conditions that created this for me and decide? It's where all the power lives. So I hope that you got a lot out of this episode today. Always uh, remember, your life is a gift. Go all in on you because you are the only one who can be the boss of your bliss. Yay. Thanks so much for listening and being here. And if you loved this episode, please take a moment to rate it on iTunes. I feel so honored when I read your reviews and I would love to feature you on the podcast as a spotlight review. Also, Find me on Instagram at Jaya Rose, and I would be so, so excited to share your story into my story. I just love seeing the feedback and that you're listening. So share it out on social media, share it with somebody who you think it could benefit because us showing up for other people is what this is all about. It's a ripple effect of change and we do that by sharing. So thanks for being here and I'll see you next time on Bliss Boss Talks.